Hello and welcome to our practice session for CAT B 2021. Today's topic is animal and plant tissue culture. This topic is a new addition in CAT B. In next 20 minutes, we'll be solving 10 important questions which would be really important for the exam. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Now, you know, there are three major topics which are added new in this exam. Basic Bioinformatics bioengineering and bioprocessing and animal and plant tissue culture by the way animal and plant tissue culture methods are also added in jam syllabus so if you are a jam aspirant this would be useful to you as well okay now let's focus on animal and plant tissue culture related questions but before that if we, if you are confused from where you can prepare these kind of topics which are new additions or prepare for any MSc level entrance examination, then Unacademy could help you with your preparation. Unacademy is launching a new batch for CHAM 2022, which is starting from 11th August. And this would be a 90 days crash course for CHAM 2022. If you are really interested, then don't forget to subscribe to Unacademy and using my code AP10. So all you need to do is download the Unacademy app Click on the link in the description and then you can use my code AP10 to get uh, the subscription. You can get 10% off with this code. Educators in Unacademy help you to analyze trends and prepare for accordingly for this particular exam. So you would get all the trend analysis in this course. Okay, starting with our questions. Question number one says, read the statements regarding cell strain correctly and choose the correct option. So statement one says a cell strain is a subpopulation of cell line that has been positively selected from the culture by cloning or some other method. Statement two says a cell strain will often have undergone additional genetic changes since the initiation of the parent line. So the options are both statements are correct, both statements are incorrect. 1 is correct, 2 is incorrect, 1 is incorrect, 2 is correct. So, you have to choose among them. If you have chosen correctly and you know what cell strain is, the correct answer is both statement 1 and statement 2. Both of them are correct. If you need a quick reference to understand what is a cell strain versus cell line, then you can quickly go to the link which is provided in the I button and click on that playlist to understand all of these topics. A cell line was found to divide only a limited number of times before losing their ability to proliferate and undergoing senescence. These cell lines are known as finite cell line, infinite cell line, anchorage dependent cell line, anchorage independent cell line. This is another very important concept that you need to know. So these cell lines are finite cell lines. So they would divide for a couple of rounds and then they would lose their potential to divide and eventually they would die due to senescence. But unlike finite cell lines, there are infinite cell lines like the cancer cell lines which can divide indefinitely. Cell culture conditions vary widely for each cell type. But in general, which conditions are necessary for growth? There are a couple of conditions given. Um, it's like a substrate or medium that supplies essential nutrients, growth factors, hormones, gases like CO2 and O2, a regulated physiochemical environment, pH, osmotic pressure, temperature, etc. We need to understand how many of these statements are correct. Option A says all the conditions are necessary. B says 1 to 5 are necessary. C says 1, 3, 4 are necessary. And none of the options are correct. So, correct option is all of these conditions are necessary. So if you want to learn what is the basis and composition of cell culture media and what conditions are required, you can click on the I button right now. If a surplus of cell are available from subculturing, they should be treated with appropriate protective agents like DASH and stored at temperatures below 1 minus 130 centri uh, degree centigrade. It's called cryopreservation until they are needed. 
so what type of agent can protect right so i mean simply they have asked about cryoprotective agents right these are sodium azide plus DMEM media serum plus 10 percent dmso 30 percent glycerol only dmem optimem and sodium azide what would be the correct uh, composition correct composition would be serum and dmso if you want to learn why you can click on the video on cryopreservation in the i button right now it's difficult to preserve plant cell by cryopreservation because the chloroplast in plant cell are denatured by super high temperature water store in the vacuole of plant form ice crystal and freeze due to freeze and thaw then uh, plant cells differentiate rapidly under cryopreservation the biological reaction of plant cell cannot be stopped by cryopreservation the correct answer is the water in the vacuoles they can uh, freeze and cause cryo damages you can understand this concept of cryo damage and cryo preservation from the video in the i button application of cell culture includes manufacturing of biological compounds at large scale such as vaccine therapeutic proteins b drug screening and drug development c analyzing the effects of drug and toxic compounds in the cell and all of the above so this question also tells you indirectly what are the usage of cell culture so you can quickly click on the uh, option and the correct option is all of the above so this is also a notes for you this particular practice session right read the statements regarding cell strain oh so we have already talked about uh, this particular thing oh sorry this this actually this is uh, sorry for the heading but this talks about uh, two different statements about primary and secondary culture so it says the main difference between primary and secondary culture is that the primary culture contains the cell directly obtained from host tissues whereas the secondary culture contains subcultured cells from primary culture Statement 2 says cells in the primary culture have not undergone any genetic transformation while the cells in the secondary culture might have altered genetic makeup. And both these statements are actually true. That's the correct option. Why cell lines are cultured and kept in CO2 incubator? It was indirectly asked in previous question. But anyway, the options are a CO2 incubator is used to culture cells to provide it an optimum temperature moisture and uh, optimum pH. CO2 is important for cellular metabolism. CO2 is major carbon source for the cell. Cells are light sensitive, hence need to be kept in dark inside the incubator. And the correct option is option A. Which of the following statement about microcarrier culture is false? The microcarrier culture offers an elegant cultivation technique for large scale production of animal cells it is especially beneficial for those cells which do not multiply in free suspension such as primary cells or diploid cell strains several types of microculture are available commercially such as dextrin based collagen based etc microculture uh, microcarrier cultures can't be used for culturing adherent cells so the correct option is option D. If you need to learn more about microculture and its uh, importance in industrial biotechnology, you can click on the link in the I button right now. Which of the following are potential medical application of embryonic stem cells? Replacing degenerated skeletal muscle, replacing degenerated nerve cells, replacing destroyed insulin secreting cells. And the correct option is all of them. Actually, stem cells technology can be used for all of these purposes and regenerative medicine is a new field which is like of interest so if you want to learn more about stem cell all the information you know where to get right okay so that kind of finishes today's uh, discussion about this topic if you want to revise for cat b 2021 quickly all the relevant playlists are present in my channel click on this particular channel and then you can go playlist by playlist and revise quickly don't forget to sh subscribe and share and as usual you can follow me on instagram facebook or twitter 
my profile is shown here arpan paricha and you can do, you can like share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment whether these videos are useful to you or not if you have any suggestion that can improve the contents do let me know i would be eager to listen from you guys thank you